The wheel on the car goes round and round, but what does exactly it take to keep it that way? Today we're going to get to the bottom of some tire facts. We've all gotten behind that car with the interesting vanity plate. Some of us have even been entertained looking out for them in long car rides. But what if you could buy a plate and ultimately help save a life? We'll tell you how. They have served our country. Many have sacrificed so much to give you and I the gift of freedom. Well, coming up, you're going to learn how veterans and their families can get the benefits they are so entitled to receive. In case you haven't heard, the circus is in town, and so are all of the animals. What it takes to get these guys ready for the greatest show on earth. And we're in the kitchen with the chef from Harrington's Bones Restaurant with a Master Chef preview. Delmarva Life starts right now. Good afternoon, I'm Lisa Bryant. I'm Jimmy Hoppe. Welcome to Delmarva Live from Historic Studio D. And we made it. Well, we dodged the winter storm bullet. Didn't have to worry about the snow, but the wind and the rain, whole nother issue. A whole nother issue. This is a Chopper video, Chopper 16 video from around the Indian River Inlet Bridge, uh, which was shut down during the storm. And as you, you can see why right there, a lot yeah. of overwash there a along lot of Route 1. Flooding still along the uh, coastal communities as, as well. They're working to get that opened up for everybody. They still had to keep everything closed down this morning, but uh, coastal flooding was a huge problem. Some communities still flooded. Yeah, a lot of them. So yeah, not everyone uh, is, is praising. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. Uh, and just in case you've ever wondered why they have those restrictions on the Bay Bridge, take a look at this picture. Uh, this was from yesterday afternoon, 2 o'clock. This mm. is from the other bridge. If you look closely, you can see that that semi there is partially turned over up against the railing. Uh, happened just after 2 o'clock. They finally got it cleared off at 3.30. Of course, they had to close the bridge and it didn't reopen until I think it was almost five. Yeah. And they still recorded 60 mile an hour wind gusts wow. up until about then. Now, got another picture here. Take a look at this one on the Bay Bridge tunnels. Can now, this you, is not from yesterday. No, this is from it? last year. This okay, from last year. Okay. But they, they have wind restrictions on the Bay Bridge right, tunnels as right. well. Can you imagine being the driver no, of that rig? No. And looking straight no. down at water? I can't. Would scare me to death. It would. It so would. But you know what? You know what? They put the wind restrictions and they have signs up all on Route 50 approaching. So how did the, they get the, on the bridge? Yeah, I mean. See, I for some reason I was thinking they would be stopped before they got on the bridge, but it is the driver's responsibility. It is the isn't driver's it? responsibility. Maybe he was coming home from a long run and said, "You know home. what? I'm going. I'm going home." I'm, but I don't know what he yeah, did. Yeah, we, we don't know. We don't know. We, so but we're just happy he's okay. Yeah. And I just want to send out, uh, you know, praying for the uh, fishermen, the watermen who yes. they were searching for out in the Atlantic. Still, still yeah. got that search going on as well. Um, you mentioned, uh, was it last week that you watched the rockets launch from Wallace? Oh, a couple weeks ago, couple yeah, weeks ago? from my front porch. Okay, well they had another one that was supposed to go off tomorrow morning, early in the morning that they pushed off because of the weather. Uh, this is the Terrier Lynx suborbital rocket that they're going to uh, launch. They pushed it off to Monday morning, so if for whatever reason you can't sleep in the middle of the night, you might <laughs> see that right. go off between 1.30 and 2. Yeah. Uh, but they're not going to have it on their website. They're not going to do updates or anything. Right. Like that. When we were watching the rocket uh, blast off a couple of weeks ago, I, you know, had my iPad and was watching the countdown and everything. I guess they're not going to do that. I'd like to see that. That would yeah. be cool. Yeah. We have to get up in the middle of the night. <laughs> well, it could still get down to cutting the cards or maybe flipping a coin to find out what they're going to do for District One Council seat in Salisbury. Oh, really? Here's the it's still deal. Still not decided. It's still not decided. They went through and reviewed the absentee and the provisional votes again. Um, still, there's a one vote difference between Cynthia Polk. She's got the lead right now for the race in the council seat. Uh, they got 14 more absentee ballots that they're going to count. They're going to count those tomorrow. So we should get the final decision tomorrow mm. about who, which two are going to be running in, in the general election. Right. But they're saying that most of those absentee votes are probably for a different seat. So okay. I'm saying we're going to flip a coin. I think I will stick with that. Yeah, this is the election where um, I guess there was last, fewer than 200 voters in District 1. In the entire district. In the entire district. Other districts, I mean, one candidate got over 800 votes yeah. alone. So it kind of shows you, you know. If you're in District 1 and you want to gripe about what they're doing, you got to get out and vote. Please. Just saying. Yeah. Uh, I read an interesting article uh, in the Dispatch. It's an uh, Ocean City mm -hmm. newspaper about the volunteer and career firefighters down there, the Ocean City Fire Department. You know, I guess it's been about five years since they kind of merged the, them right. together into one department, and, and, and it hasn't been a smooth merge. Yeah. So now the wives are getting involved, specifically wives of the career volunteer or career firefighters. They're, they're forming a support group. Yeah. Uh, for for these first responders, because there is, um, you know, there's 
accusations of uh, creating a culture of stress and negativity and they don't like what's happening and you know there's that battle going right. on within the fire department. The fire chief of course Chris Larmore is defending his leadership saying he has a responsibility to the taxpayers right. so he needs to run this department like a business so it's it's interesting that you know people outside I guess really not outside the department because they are married, married to, to the them, people, yeah. you know, are, are stepping in and, you know, they're not a bunch of crying hens. They're, no. They just want to, you know. And, and we want to say, we understand that it takes somebody of passion to be a firefighter, exactly. either volunteer or paid. Right. So thank you for doing that. And, and it's pretty awesome that the, uh, the wives are getting involved to try to smooth things out. Yeah, and apparently the, the town manager of Ocean City is going to sit down and talk with these employees okay. and, and try to see what he can do to straighten it out. But we hope we hope everything gets straightened out. And so can we boil it down to say the wives are saying, boys, play nice? Yeah. Is that is that essentially <laughs> it? Okay. Maybe. Just, just want to check. Um, you remember, we've, I think we've talked about it before, using the inflatable exercise ball oh. instead of a chair. <laughs> yes. Well, in Dover, there's a couple of uh, campus community school classrooms that are doing it. Look at this. They got two classrooms in Dover. Uh, one is Shannon Knoll. She's a fourth and fifth grade teacher, and Christina Thompson is a first and, and third. Uh, I'm sorry, second and third grade teacher. Uh, they went out and they got the funding, and they bought these exercise balls for the kids to sit on instead of the plastic chairs. They don't have to. They can choose the plastic, hard plastic chair if they want to. I hate it. What's the advantage of? What it, and they said this for adults, and they're saying it may work out for the kids as well. The stability ball. It helps build your balance, uh -huh. your strength, uh -huh. and actually what they're going to do is they're going to test it to see if it actually works out for the school. They're, through the gym class, they're going to test these kids. They, they tested them before they got the balls uh -huh. to see how their balance was, how their strength uh -huh. was, and they're going to test them again a little bit later to see if it's improved. So they, and they also have something to sling across the room, right? There's that point. <laughs> I just, you know, I just, my boys, tension span, not right. there. I just, I can just. You don't just, think a big bouncy ball is a good idea? <laughs> yeah, I can, just, can you imagine teaching these kids and they're all just kind of like. <laughs> Walk out of the room for two minutes. Oh, man. Let's see dodge, what happens. You got a dodgeball game. But yeah, but this is actually a pilot program. And if it works out, okay. you know, they may try to expand into the rest good of the school. And can't wait for this stories after that. <laughs> mm. uh, the Seaford Lions Club is kicking off a talent show. They would it tonight? It's tonight. Yeah. It goes through Saturday. Um, That's a long talent show. It And it's well worth it. Yeah. Oh my goodness. They, they iron all the kinks out mm -hmm. uh, on Thursday nights and then Friday nights and Saturday nights are the great shows. Um, if you have never seen some of the businessmen and fully involved lions so willing to get up on stage and embarrass embarrass themselves. <laughs> Our very own Dave Spiker uh -huh. in, in the sales department, uh, not last year but year before, he was Elton John. Ah. He came out on stage. I laughed so hard I nearly wet myself. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is the greatest show. Now, they're going to be at the uh, high school auditorium this year. Uh, there's some construction going on in the front of the building, so you'll have to park around back. But the show is tonight through Saturday, 7.30. Tickets are only 6 bucks. Uh, and, of course, the big thing about the Seaford Lions is they pour a, all this money back into the community, everything from local projects to vision. They donate glasses to, to kids who mm -hmm. need them and, and people who need them. Uh, there's scholarships for students. So the money goes to a wonderful thing. Wonderful but, cause. And look what they're doing to get it. <laughs> cool, I miss this. All right. Hey, you know, you love uh, air shows, right? Yes. Yeah. Well, you love the Blue Angels and yes. the Thunderbirds and yes, all yes, of yes. that. Well, a lot oh. of people have been worried about what the whole sequester thing is going to do to the Ocean City Air Show because the uh, Blue Angels were, were funded to go were there. Were funded to go there. Well, Navy Secretary Ray Mabus announced the intent to cancel four Blue Angels performances, which got a lot of people kind of scared. But he mentioned Texas, Florida, Georgia, and South Carolina. No mention of Ocean City. Ah, so you will get to see yet. your Blue Angels performing. Right. Yeah. It, it could still happen, but. Well, I mean, a lot can happen between now and what? May? May. Yeah. June? June, 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 June. Yeah. Yes, in June. So, June. So we'll keep our fingers crossed. Looks good so far. Yeah. Looks, and, and I realize there's more important things than an air show. Right. Sometimes. Anyway. <laughs> uh, did you hear what Delaware Surf Fishing is doing? Yeah. This is the most awesome thing. They're partnering with Delaware Breast Cancer Coalition, and uh, of course, they're trying to raise money sure. to fight breast cancer. Mm -hmm. Look at these t shirts they're putting together. Uh, DSF co founder Rich King Ooh, said he and co founder Chris Walker said they know that October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, but they wanted to do something all year long. And you can see the. I like them. That's a great shirt. That's my favorite color. That is awesome. And, and that, that looks like a cool shirt. Something else that they said that I thought was really great is they think it's important to keep the funds 
here, here right. locally, Sussex County. So right, right. That was that was a great. And, and coming up later in the show, we're going to speak with a woman who is also doing. She's a breast cancer survivor, and she's yeah. actually approached the state to get a special breast cancer license plate. So we're going to be talking really? to her in just a few moments. Oh wow! Pretty okay. cool. Can't wait for that. Uh, the 2013 Maryland Swimming Championship started this afternoon on the campuses of the United States Naval Academy. Mm -hmm. I want to say hey to the Coastal Aquatics swim team. They've got 12 of their athletes at the state meet. Head coach Rebecca Agoglia, Rebecca, please forgive me if I said your name <laughs> wrong, uh, says she's happy that so many of her charges get to participate in the event. That's a, a they, really big thing there. They are. Th now those are athletes. Those I mean, are athletes, yes. yes. That swimming is hard. I think they started at 3 o'clock this afternoon go into this evening. Good luck so, to you guys. Yeah. Hey, you know, the perfect marriage proposal is all in timing, right? Okay, I go okay, with that. Okay, you yeah, go yeah. with that. Watch this video. This man had it all planned out. He serenaded his wow, girlfriend. Wow, that's beautiful. He got down on one knee. What a great Everything. place. Oh, isn't it wonderful? That's perfect. And he says, will you marry me? Uh -huh. Me. Oh my goodness! There yeah, they go. right. <laughs> he Giant swept her off her wave feet. Wave crashed onto the rock they were standing on, knocked them both over. Now they had photographers there yeah. as well, as you can see. That's look at the, look at this oh, picture. No. This is when the wave's coming. She's all excited. She's like, I'm oh getting married, goodness. and then it's like, oh no, yeah. So that'll be a proposal to remember. By the way, yes, she stood up from the water and said yes. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> and he kept the ring. Yes. Well, yeah, he did not lose him. That he was my first thought, too. I thought, the ring! <laughs> but no. I'm not worried about him. Where's the ring? He, he held on to it. <laughs> well, still ahead on Del Marva Life, without good tires, the rest of your car can't be safe. Yeah, Brian Spiros is standing by to talk tires. Well, Jimmy and Lisa, when it comes to the rubber meeting the road, there's a lot you need to know from the tire pressure to getting an alignment. We'll break it all down when we come back. Plus, we're in the kitchen making oyster chowder. It's a spin on soup that you are bound to love. And later, the circus is in town. We'll find out what it takes to get the animals ready. Plus, learn some interesting facts about the greatest show on Earth. Delmarva Life, we'll be right back. Delmarva Life is brought to you by Sussex County Federal Credit Union, guiding you to your financial future. Peninsula Regional Medical Center, Honored to serve the entire Delmarva Peninsula since 1897. Your local York and Mitsubishi dealers. And State Farm Insurance. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. 